In recent days, the aviation industry has been abuzz with signs that the Boeing 777X is moving ever closer to commercial service. However, just as all eyes were fixed on this giant, a piece of news shook the aviation world. Airbus is preparing to unveil an entirely new aircraft, the A350-2000. More than just a larger airplane, this aircraft has been introduced as a machine powerful enough to defeat the 777X, the very aircraft on which Boeing has pinned its final hopes. So why could this new masterpiece pose such a serious threat to Boeing? And with this stretched variant, could it become the most successful version of the A350 family? Let's find out. As the Paris Air Show 2025, the world's most prestigious aviation stage, ended well, with all eyes fixed on dazzling displays of technology and headline-making deals. Yet at the exhibition, the most remarkable highlight was what Airbus revealed. Plans to launch the A350-2000, an ambitious stretched variant of the A350 family. More than a natural evolution of the already successful a350-1000, this aircraft is a direct strike at the Boeing 777X, Airbus's fiercest rival in the large wide-body market. More importantly, it is a bold, strategic response to the growing global demand for long-range, ultra-fuel-efficient aircraft. Before we can understand this move, we need to look back at the A350's journey. Conceived in the early 2000s to meet shifting market demands, the aircraft made its commercial debut in 2015 with the A350900. Since then, the family has expanded to include the long-range 900 variant, the higher capacity 1000, and even ultra-long-range versions. With the curtain now closed on the A380 program, this aircraft stands as one of Airbus's last remaining modern long-haul wide-body programs. Launching version 2000 is not just logical, it's essential to stay competitive. Market trends make this step even more compelling. The global industry has moved away from the era of massive four-engine giants like the A3080 and the 747 toward twin-engine jets prized for their efficiency. Yet high-density trunk routes still demand aircraft with both maximum capacity and intercontinental range without stopovers. Airbus sees this gap clearly, and the version 2000 is its answer. But one name forced Airbus to rethink its position, the Boeing 777X. When the A350-1000 debuted in 2018, Airbus executives confidently dismissed Boeing's 777-9 as an awkward hybrid of old and new technologies, a design they believed would never truly compete with the XWB aircraft. Reality, however, told another story. To date, the XWB-1000 has secured just 327 orders, while the uncertified 777-9 has already racked up 383. A wake-up call, to say the least. That is why the launch of the A350-2000 is more than just an expansion. It is a decisive move in a high-stakes battle for market share. For now, it stands as the largest wide-body Airbus has ever built, a bold new symbol of the company's relentless ambition to lead the future of long-haul air travel. So, what exactly can we expect from the A350-2000? Let's take a closer look. To begin with, Capacity is where the most obvious transformation lies. While today's A350-1000 already carries up to 369 passengers, its stretched successor, the A350-2000, is being designed to push those limits even further. With a fuselage lengthened by around 4 additional meters, this new variant could accommodate an extra 40 to 50 seats. That means a total capacity of roughly 450 passengers, placing it head-to-head -head with Boeing's 777X and shifting the balance of power in the large twin-aisle market. But this isn't just about squeezing in more seats. It's about redefining what a long-haul, high-capacity aircraft can achieve. As Airbus's CEO put it, the new A3050 variant will deliver greater range and capacity, something that is becoming increasingly critical in today's crowded aviation market. This underscores that the variant 2000 is not simply a technical upgrade, but a bold strategic move, one that offers airlines a weapon in the race for ultra-efficient, high-volume operations on long-haul routes. But here's where it gets notable. Design. To handle its extended fuselage, the aircraft is expected to receive significant aerodynamic and structural improvements. Among the most crucial upgrades will likely be a revised wing design, boosting lift and fuel efficiency, two absolute essentials for intercontinental operations.
With more length and added payload, Airbus also plans to raise the maximum takeoff weight. While the increase may not push beyond the structural limits of the current version 1000, it will still demand reinforced landing gear and localized strengthening of the fuselage, changes that the A35 platform is well prepared to absorb with minimal disruption. And now perhaps the most exciting part, the engines. Wait, don't forget to hit subscribe because we know you're going to love what's coming next. Trust us, you won't want to miss it. The stretched variant will need more thrust to match its size and mass. At present, the A350-1000 relies on Rolls-Royce's Trent XWB-97 engines, each producing up to 97,000 pounds of thrust. In 2000, Airbus faced two options, further optimize the proven XWB or take a leap forward with Rolls-Royce's next-generation Ultrafan engine. Either choice would enable the jet to carry more passengers while flying farther than ever before. More thrust means more range. With the right engine configuration, this variant could operate non-stop on some of the world's longest and toughest routes. Think Singapore to New York or Los Angeles to Johannesburg. This capability would give airlines a powerful new tool. The flexibility to serve high-density markets with fewer stopovers, lower fuel burn per seat, and significantly improved overall efficiency. But which path will Airbus take? Will they lean on the reliability of the XWB or take the gamble on Ultrafan? That remains one of the most intriguing questions. So what do you think? Even with these lofty ambitions, the new variant will still draw heavily on the maker's proven technical foundation. Its airframe will be strategically reinforced to distribute stress and manage additional structural loads. To comply with safety standards for the increased passenger count, Airbus may also add another Type C emergency exit, a critical design element to ensure rapid evacuation in case of emergency. More significantly, certification, too, could be a smoother journey than it sounds. If the maker can focus development primarily on fuselage extension without radically altering the wing architecture or engine systems, regulatory approval could proceed more efficiently. Yet, the real measure of success will not come from engineering alone. It will hinge on economics. Can Airbus deliver greater capacity without driving up operating costs? That question remains unanswered. But one thing is clear. The outcome will shape not just the European manufacturer's fortunes, but the very future of long-haul travel for the decade ahead. However, every bold step comes with obstacles, and for Airbus, the ambition to launch the A350-2000 is no exception. Behind the excitement and promise lies a series of daunting challenges that could make or break the program. The greatest hurdle sits at the very heart of the aircraft, its engines. Today, the A35 family relies on Rolls-Royce's Trent XWB engines, celebrated for their efficiency and reliability. Yet, when placed beside Boeing's GE9X, with its significantly larger fan diameter, the Trent XWB suddenly appears modest. This hasn't posed a problem for the A350-1000, but for a stretched, heavier aircraft like the 2000, it could become a serious limitation. More size and more weight demand, more thrust to preserve both performance and range. This reality leaves Airbus and Rolls-Royce in trouble. Either push the XWB platform to its absolute technical limits or pivot to the next generation ultrafan engine. Both options are enormously expensive in terms of development costs and time, but the potential payoff is equally substantial. If successful, Boeing's rival would have in its hands a true competitor to 777X, one capable of holding its own in the volatile wide-body market for decades to come. However, the maker is not without solutions. Even without the perfect engine, the A350-2000 carries a built-in advantage, its ultra-lightweight composite fuselage. This structural efficiency delivers exceptional fuel economy and lower operating costs, advantages that no rival can easily dismiss. Preliminary estimates suggest the stretched variant could cut operating costs by as much as 10% and reduce cost per seat by about 5% compared to the 777X. For airlines still recovering financially in the post-pandemic world, such savings could be nothing short of a game-changer. Yet overcoming the engineering hurdles alone will not be enough.
Airbus now faces a bigger, more strategic challenge. Is there still a market for an aircraft as massive as the A350-2000? Most airlines with a need for large twin jets have already committed to either the current A350-1000 or Boeing's 777X. Potential customers like Emirates may still express interest in an even larger variant, but Emirates is an outlier not the industry norm. Few carriers can replicate their unique business model built on ultra-long-haul, high-density routes. And that raises a crucial dilemma for Airbus. Does the 2000 variant truly still have a place in the market? Without a strong base of loyal customers and a clear forecast of sustained demand, even the most advanced aircraft risk becoming a costly investment. Airbus's decision to place its bet on the A350-2000 did not happen in a vacuum. It came at the very moment when the battle for supremacy in the long-haul, wide-body market was entering its fiercest stage. Boeing, after years of delays and anticipation, was finally preparing to unleash its most ambitious jet yet, the 777X, a machine boasting seating for more than 426 passengers and promising unmatched fuel efficiency. Against this backdrop, the European maker's sudden move was not just well-timed. It was a bold and deliberate challenge thrown directly at its American rival. For Airbus, the A350-2000 carries far greater significance. It is their strategic answer to a widening gap in the market, and perhaps their boldest attempt yet to rewrite the narrative. With a stretched fuselage, increased seating capacity, and advanced aerodynamic refinements, the jet is envisioned as the natural successor to the aging legends that once ruled the skies, the Boeing 747 and Airbus A340. In markets where demand is surging, especially in the Middle East and the Asia-Pacific, airlines crave aircraft that can combine immense capacity with long-haul efficiency. And that is precisely the niche it believes the new version XWB can dominate. Yet, what makes this story even more fascinating is that the A350-2000 is not entirely new. Few remember that Airbus had already flirted with the idea years ago, revealing early studies of the variant before shelving the project. The reason wasn't technical shortcomings, the aircraft concept was always strong, but rather a conflict of strategy. At the time, the company was betting heavily on its new flagship, the A380. Introducing a twin-engine long-range rival risked cannibalizing its own flagship, a risk Airbus wasn't willing to take. But times have changed. The A380 is no longer in production. The market for very large aircraft has shifted dramatically, and the 777X is steadily advancing as the dominant force. Suddenly, the situation is different. What once looked like a risky overlap now feels like an urgent opportunity. The chance has reappeared, and Airbus knows it must act quickly before Boeing cements its hold on the wide-body segment for decades to come. With everything the A350-2000 has to offer, and with the other XWB variants already proven, which one do you think will ultimately become the most successful? Share your thoughts with us in the comments below. And don't forget to stay tuned for our next videos by hitting the subscribe button. Thank you for watching, and see you next time.